Gold nuggets discovered in the Sacramento Valley in 1848 sparked the California Gold Rush. News of the findings sparked the interest of miners and prospectors across the United States. Several hundred thousand miners traveled from abroad in search of wealth and riches. But nearly half a century prior to the California Gold Rush, North Carolina was home to a gold rush of its own. The first known discovery of gold in North Carolina was in 1799 at the farm of John Reed in Cabarrus County. During the 1830s and 1840s, the peak of the gold rush, there were more than 50 mining operations in North Carolina. Mining towns or boom towns were established across the Piedmont because of this new thriving industry. The Coggins, or the earlier known as the Appalachian Mine, was one of these such towns. And then when they clean it out, they get the, the uh, uh, mercury out. It'd be what they call sponge gold in a great big sponge, and they'd burn the mercury off of the gold. And there you got ounces of gold. They knew what they were doing. Oh, yeah. It took me about 20 years or more to clean it to what it's at now. Still, still finding stuff occasionally. I'd say roughly two ounces of gold that I found here, penny. You can see it there. Some of them made pretty good, nothing extreme. They some pretty good little nuggets in there. That's roughly two ounces I've panned here since I've been here. I bet you've had a ball around this place, ain't you? Oh my goodness, <laughs> I've been in heaven. That's for a belt. Yeah. See, it was sort of V-shaped to hold the gold ore on it. Yeah. And they had probably a hundred or more oh, yeah. down from the mine down to the stamp. belt just going down through there. Full of gold, you know that's a lot of gold right there. To me, it would be. Mm -hmm. See, this is part of the pot, and if y'all look right here, let's go over here to the light, and it get it would get to boiling and run down the side of the pot mm -hmm. when it got too full. So you can tell that's mm -hmm. been run there. And but to show you that uh, that they was gold run down the side of it, I want y'all to look right here at the end where you can see in the light and see what you see there. Oh, yeah, I see you see the little gold, yeah. it, 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 uh, it run down the pot. And that forest engineer in that chair, he was set here. And the building had windows there. He could watch it. And then the, what they call the hoist, it was a huge roll, six, seven hundred foot of steel cable. And it wound it in and pulled a cart out on the track. He, he, he was very important to look after the people underground. One of the old stamp machines, the five set right here, it's up brown Lawson, up at the Freshers Reunion, and then they'll never five stamp here. It's at the Reed Gold Mine. Any of y'all ever been over there? Yeah, it's been a while, but I've been there. Well, there's a lot of their equipment over something here. There was another building here fastened on to it in its class. And, uh, they made the gold bars here. I was the furnace. They had a rack along in here. They'd make gold bars, you know, melt it down into bars. They made uh, 11 pounds at a time. I see five and a half, yeah, five and a half pounds each. 
the mold was in there. Did y'all see that mold? Yeah. Well, that's where they made gold mark. That's how big they are. Each one of them weighed five and a half pounds. Made 11 pounds of gold at a time. That's a lot of gold. But anyway, <clears throat> when they'd melt it down, when I cleaned this up right here, the old building, there was a huge timber, probably 12 by 12 right here, and it was a workbench. Had hard old vice that's in there. But anyway, they, uh, what they done, <clears throat> when they was working here, they would, uh, they built an underground furnish, uh, underground safe or something to hide something. They pulled a mold, had a mold, and then pulled uh, uh, concrete around it. But anyway, when they met the gold bars, they would move that timber, you know, two or three of them just yeah. slip it back. And then they would put the gold bars in here so they could get them to the bank. Right there. And then when they got through, you probably didn't everybody know about that. Because I found the other stuff in there, like these bolts and stuff like that, you know, keep people from stealing. And then they would uh, take it, cover it back up. What they done with this, the, imp the impurities out of it, they buried it up there. I could tell there's a little dirt there, bulging. And I got to looking one day. I hadn't found this maybe four, five, six years ago. But anyway, and they steal more up there. What they do when they make all these gold bars, they take this up here to evidence and cover it up, keep people from knowing. And then the next thing up there is the main shaft, 618 foot. This one only goes 250. And then the next one up there is the original strike. It goes 250. But anyway, up them two holes up there is where the gold was found. And the Coggins at the time, uh, they didn't even know it was here. And they were wealthy people right here under their noses. Wow. for a hundred years or more. See the black sand associated with it, that's arm. You can take a magnet. That's where a lot of them clean gold. Uh, pretty well, all the magnetize that arm. It'll pick the iron up, but it won't take, won't, gold's not magnetic, right. you know, like a coin. Yeah. Mm. That's some pretty stuff. A lot of micro gold in there. See that powder? See that right there? Oh, Just yeah. thousands of. You can actually you can't <clears throat> you can't see it all if you had a magnifying glass. You'd be surprised what people pull away. Yeah. You know, gold pan the micro stuff. But anyway, this this I use this for demonstration. Some people not familiar with.